We're given a limited amount of information about a function h, namely that its first four derivatives are increasing on the interval in question, and that values of those derivatives along with the function are given for just a few uh, x values. And we're going to be making Taylor uh, polynomial approximations to the function and answering questions about it including questions about the Lagrange error bound. So what I've included here on the right is the definition of the Taylor polynomial as well as information about the remainder term which is the basis for the Lagrange error bound. So let's go ahead and start with part A. we need to write the first degree Taylor polynomial for h about x equals 2. So first degree I'm going to call this p1 of x and we have here the definition of the Taylor polynomial. They asked us to write it about uh, x equals 2 so it's going to be h of 2 plus h prime evaluated at 2 times x minus 2. And that would ordinarily be over 1 factorial, but there's no reason for me to put that in because 1 factorial is just 1. Similarly, h2 formally is going to be over 0 factorial, but that's also 1. So now let's put in the values that they've given us. Namely, h of 2 is 80. h prime of 2 is 128 and x itself is 1.9 and so we have that p1 of 1.9 is just going to be 80 1.9 minus 2 is negative 0.1 so that's 80 minus 12.8, 67.2. Now, does this over or underestimate the actual value? Well, the fact that the first, second, third, and fourth derivatives are all increasing on the interval, as well as the function itself, means that the function itself looks something like this. And we've been asked to find a tangent line approximation right here at 2 and use that to approximate h of 1.9. So here's the approximation. And here's the actual value. Okay. And I know that this curve has a positive concavity as well as increasing slope and so um, we're just going to say that because h double prime is positive um, h prime of x is increasing and so a P1 of 1.9 is an underestimate. Okay, let's look at part B. Uh, part B, we're writing the third degree Taylor polynomial and using it to approximate. So they're just asking for some more terms. So we'll write P3 of X it's going to be H at some A in this case 2 plus H prime at 2 times X minus 2 plus h double prime of 2 times x minus 2 squared 
over 2 factorial plus h triple prime of 2 x minus 2 cubed over 3 factorial. That's going to be our approximation. And so let's put in values that they've given us. P3 at 1.9 is going to be H of 2, we said was 80. Plus H prime at 2 is 128. Our X minus 2 values are all going to come out to negative 0.1. And H double prime of 2, 488 over 3, times X minus 2 squared. That's not. That's just X minus 2, in this case, 1.9 minus 2, negative 0.1 squared over 2 factorial, which is just 2. And our last term, 448 over 3 times negative 0.1 cubed over 3 factorial, which is 6. Putting that all together, you get approximately 67.988. I think a fourth digit is 2. <coughs> but I wouldn't bet my life on it. And that's all that we have for uh, Part B. Part C asks about the Lagrange error bound. So the Lagrange error bound is um, simply the largest that the remainder term could be in terms of its absolute value. And so we write um, that R3 of x is going to be the fourth derivative of the function at some value c intermediate between or in the interval between a and x times x minus 2 to the fourth over 4 factorial for some c between 2 and x. I wrote it in this fashion because we know the x value is below 2. And more specifically, r3 of 1.9 we can estimate as being less than or equal to in absolute value um, negative 0.1 to the fourth over 4 factorial times the largest in absolute value that the fourth uh, derivative, the largest value that it can take on in the interval between 2 and 1.9. And because we're told that the fourth derivative is increasing in that interval, then we know that taking that value right at 2 is the largest that it can be. And we have that the fourth derivative at 2 is 584 over 9. This value itself is um, less than the given constraint uh, we have. It's about, um, well, let's first put in the constraint. It's less than 3 times 10 to the negative 4. It comes out to approximately 2.7037. That settles it. Again, things to be careful for. Uh, remember that when we're doing a Taylor polynomial about a particular value, then all the derivatives get evaluated at that value. And then since they're asking us to work at x equals 1.9, that's what goes in here. And so it's the difference that we're expanding in terms of powers of that difference of negative 0.1.